In the midst of a frigid night, a homeless man stumbled upon a discarded Santa Claus costume in the trash. Seizing the opportunity to ward off the biting cold, he donned the costume. Little did he anticipate that his life was about to take a miraculous turn when a young girl approached him, earnestly asking for a Christmas present. On Christmas Eve, the enchanting aura of the year-end festivities enveloped New York City. The streets shimmered with the radiant hues of Christmas lights, transforming the metropolis into a fairy tale landscape. Sidewalks resonated with the harmonious melodies of choirs singing, Silent Night, captivating families from around the world. Amidst this tableau of peace and harmony, there stood an incongruity, an ailing homeless man navigating the icy streets. The yawning gap between the Christmas magic experienced by others and the grim reality he faced was palpable. Wrapped in warm coats, people joyously followed the path of celebration, while the homeless man, alien, knew only the tribulations of life. His stomach growled audibly, echoing days of craving sustenance. For him, Christmas was just another day of hunger and cold, exacerbated by New York's heavy snowfall. As he traversed the avenues, surrounded by warmth and smiles, Alien's thoughts were shrouded in uncertainty and sadness. In the depths of despair, he contemplated his dire circumstances. My God, am I going to find something to eat? He pondered, his body racked with malnutrition. Desperation for even a morsel of food consumed him, and he feared succumbing to illness at any moment. It was in this state of anguish that Alien paused before a large garbage can, clinging to a last shred of hope. Opening it, he hoped to find something to satiate his hunger. To his astonishment, amidst the debris, he discovered an unexpected treasure, a red Santa Claus costume. Bewildered, he whispered, what's it doing here? Who would throw that away, especially at this time of year? The homeless man muttered to himself, scanning his surroundings in disbelief as he searched for the culprit who had discarded the clothes. Despite the oddity of the situation, Aelin examined the garment. It showed signs of wear and fading, yet he recognized that Santa's attire was crafted from thick, warm fabric, an ideal shield against the freezing chill. Lucky me. God knows how much I need this, he celebrated, a broad smile lighting up his face. Without hesitation, he adorned the Santa costume, immediately feeling a comforting warmth envelop him. It had been ages since he had experienced such genuine warmth, his tattered clothes provided little defense against the biting wind. Oh, how warm this is, so good, thought the homeless man, momentarily forgetting his hunger. Although he couldn't find any food, the red Santa outfit became his most significant Christmas present. Aelin, now dressed as Santa, continued his journey through the festive streets of New York, hoping to find sustenance. As he entered stores and interacted with people, he noticed a peculiar shift. Things were different from how they had always been, people no longer ignored him or shooed him away with disdainful remarks. Instead, with the Santa costume, it seemed as if they could truly see him. Look, son, it's Santa, exclaimed a mother to her little boy, encouraging a greeting. The homeless man found this sudden attention strange, as no one had ever spoken to him before. However, a warm and joyous feeling began to swell in his heart. People were more receptive, waving and smiling at him. To his surprise, when he requested leftovers in restaurants, the staff generously provided him with a full meal, accompanied by wishes of, Merry Christmas, sir. Inspired by this newfound acceptance, Aelin hatched an idea. Embracing his role as the benevolent old man, he began asking for food in restaurants to distribute to other homeless individuals he encountered on his journey. Merry Christmas, my friend. Enjoy this piece of cake, he said, spreading joy and eliciting smiles from those around him. The experience felt incredible, being able, even for a brief moment, to offer a semblance of peace, love, and satiate the hunger of others during Christmas. And cherished the genuine smiles of gratitude he received in return. Aware of the hardships that homeless individuals faced, he took joy in embodying Santa Claus, and bringing wishes to life. That night, as he continued his wanderings, the homeless man found himself standing in front of an orphanage where cheerful children greeted him with waves and excitement. Santa Claus 
Santa Claus, they shouted enthusiastically upon seeing Aelin in the red costume. The man approached the children, engaging them with kind words and asking about their Christmas wishes with a hearty, ho ho ho. It was all part of a festive act, but Aelin was eager to create a magical moment for these needy souls. Understanding that these children often received numerous toys and clothes as donations during the holiday season, he anticipated their upcoming joy. Yet, one little girl in particular caught his attention. Seated on a bench in the corner, her head hung low, as if she didn't share in the Christmas spirit of her friends. Gently, Aelin approached her and inquired why she wasn't feeling happy on such a special night. What is it, princess? Don't you want to ask Santa for something? What do you want this year, a doll, a new dress, he asked, offering a warm smile. Little did the homeless man know that he was about to receive a response that would leave him speechless. The little girl, with sad yet sparkling eyes, looked at him and shared her deepest desire. I wanted to find my mommy. That's what I wanted for Christmas. The homeless man was at a loss for words. How does one respond to such a delicate and complex request? Before we continue the story, we invite you to share your thoughts. What would you do in this situation? How would you respond to the little girl's heartfelt wish? Let us know in the comments. Now, back to the story. Aelin pondered the words he could say. But before he could formulate a response, the little girl continued to pour out her story. My mommy is out there. I know I wasn't supposed to be here. I got lost from my mommy, and then they brought me here. But nobody believes me, she explained. The man found himself once again rendered speechless, staring at the girl with eyes filled with disbelief and amazement. Drawing even closer, the little girl touched his arm with her warm hands. The man noticed a peculiar little mark on her hand, shaped like a cross, something he had never seen before. However, his attention swiftly returned to the little girl when she implored him, Santa, please find my mommy, her eyes shining with tears. Aelin felt his heart tighten with compassion and a growing determination. Just as he was about to respond, an orphanage worker arrived and gently took the little girl away from the homeless man, explaining Evelyn's situation. She revealed that Evelyn had recently lost her mother and was firmly convinced that her mother hadn't died but was merely lost. Evelyn couldn't accept her mother's death, leaving her deeply shaken. The man, still dressed as Santa Claus, remained in shock and speechless. The girl's conviction left a lasting impression, and he could sense the pain and anguish in her eyes. Believing him to be a volunteer, the orphanage worker thanked him for bringing joy to the children and for trying to help. With a heavy heart, the man bid farewell to the little ones. However, before he left, Evelyn pleaded once more, please find her. I know you can find her. Leaving the orphanage, the homeless man carried both a heart full of joy for having uplifted the children and a sense of sadness for Evelyn. The weight of a mother's death was a burden too heavy for someone so young. Reflecting on his own life, Aelin recalled the pain of losing his parents when he was very young. He recalled the circumstances that led him to living on the streets, the relentless struggle for survival, and the lessons he acquired on self-reliance. At the tender age of ten, he comprehended the profound sense of loneliness in a vast world. This early experience fostered a deep empathy for Evelyn's predicament. Memories of harsh winters, lonely nights, and the growing emptiness within him lingered, a constant reminder of the daily battle for sustenance and shelter. Reflecting on his own past, the man empathized with Evelyn, yearning to do more for her. As he returned to his humble abode in an alley behind an abandoned building, the warmth of Santa's attire provided physical comfort, yet his heart remained burdened. On Christmas morning, he woke up and savored the remnants of his food, expressing gratitude for the unexpected gift of the Santa outfit. However, the image of the little girl and her plea to find her mother persisted in his thoughts. Despite his own struggles, he wished he could alleviate her suffering, feeling a profound desire to assist her in overcoming the trauma. Unaware of the pivotal role he was about to play in the little girl's life, he felt a sense of helplessness in the face of the situation. While searching for lunch that Christmas morning, 
he traversed several miles through New York City, facing rejection from various places, as if he were invisible. He mused to himself, humorously contemplating how differently he would be treated if he were Santa Claus, even on a day meant for compassion and solidarity. The relentless heat of the day rendered the warm Santa outfit unbearable. After many hours, worn out and with a growling stomach, he determined that the next restaurant would be his final attempt. If unsuccessful, he would resort to searching through garbage cans. Entering a small establishment, some of the staff regarded him with disdain. However, a young woman approached him kindly, offering a warm greeting and asking how she could help. Her friendly demeanor, accompanied by a warm smile, made him feel welcomed. Expressing his starvation, he inquired if there was anything he could do in exchange for food or if they could provide leftovers. The generous and kind young woman insisted that, on Christmas Day, he didn't have to do anything. Come on, I'll buy lunch, she exclaimed. Overwhelmed with gratitude, the man thanked her profusely, his eyes filled with emotion. However, what unfolded next touched Elon's heart in an unexpected way. As she handed him his meal, he noticed a small mark on her hand, identical to the one Evelyn had. The mark took the shape of a cross. Staring at the waitress, he couldn't ignore the striking resemblance between her and the little girl. The thought crossed his mind, could she be Evelyn's mother or a close relative? Confused, he recalled the words of the orphanage worker who had informed him that Evelyn's mother had passed away. Despite the conflicting thoughts, Elon mustered the courage to ask the burning question. Gazing into the young woman's eyes, he gently inquired, Ma'am, I may sound strange, but I have to ask, do you have a daughter? Upon hearing those words, the woman's eyes filled with tears. Her expression shifted from a smile to surprise, tinged with hope, with her voice overcome with emotion, the young woman replied, My Evelyn. Do you know where my Evelyn is? The homeless man was perplexed when he heard the little girl's name, unable to believe the twist of fate that had unfolded before him. In a whisper, he questioned, It's not possible. Are you alive? At that moment, the man knew for sure that he had found the mother of the little girl from the orphanage. The waitress, who had been behind the counter until then, urgently approached the man, desperately begging for any information about her missing daughter. Her words were a mix of anguish and hope as she pleaded, My daughter, sir, do you know where my daughter is? Anxiety gripped her. Yes, ma'am. I know where your little girl is, he said, his hands trembling with disbelief at the incredible coincidence he was witnessing. It felt as if the universe had conspired to unite two souls separated by the chance of life. The mother nearly collapsed on the floor, crying compulsively, while frantically questioning where the girl was and how the homeless man knew her. With his voice breaking, he explained about the Santa outfit, the meeting at the orphanage, and Evelyn's unusual request. Jane, the mother, without hesitation, left her job early and immediately followed the man to the orphanage. On the way, she shared the story of how they had been separated. It all happened about six months before. Jane and her little girl were on a trip to escape the routine, visiting a park in a neighboring town near New York. However, during the return journey, the bus suffered a serious accident, resulting in injuries and fatalities. A mix-up during the official count led to Jane being included in the list of deceased, while Evelyn, who had survived, was taken to the hospital and later to an orphanage. The young mother had also survived, having been thrown when the bus overturned. So, when they went to count the bodies, they couldn't find her, and the woman, Jane, wandered around and lost her little girl. The following months became a period of incessant searching for the little girl, marked by uncertainty and despair. Jane appealed to the authorities, facing financial difficulties and eventually working as an attendant at the restaurant. However, she never imagined that the peculiar mark on her hand, in the shape of a cross that she and the little girl had in common, would become the link enabling their reunion. Upon arriving at the orphanage, everyone was shocked and the little girl saw her mother. Running into the woman's arms, she cried like never before, exclaiming, Mommy! Mommy! The little girl even turned to the man, who was looking at the scene with tears in his eyes, 
and said with a smile, I knew it. I knew that Santa Claus would make my wish come true. Elon, the unlikely Santa Claus, had performed a Christmas miracle that day, bringing light and hope into the lives of two people who loved each other deeply. From that moment on, mother and daughter could restart their lives together, united by an unshakable love. The Christmas miracles didn't stop there. Jane talked to her boss and convinced him to hire the homeless man at the restaurant. The girl's generous gesture, driven by gratitude and the desire to repay the good she had received, gave the homeless man the opportunity to have a job and embark on a new journey. Over time, although his salary was modest, he expressed his gratitude with tear-filled eyes, realizing that he had never had a job or the guarantee of a future, but now everything would change. The former homeless man felt immensely blessed and victorious. He was able to rent a flat, which he proudly called home, providing the roof over his head he had always dreamed of. Daily meals, warm clothes, and, to his surprise, hot showers became part of his reality, a reality he hadn't imagined for a long time. The transformation in his life was truly extraordinary. Elon also became a friend to Jane and Evelyn. He played the role of a kind of uncle to the little girl and an older brother to the young woman. The emotional bonds they built were strengthened every day. For them, Christmas became a date of family celebration. Each year, they agreed to have dinner together, celebrating moments of joy, love, and hope. For that man, Jane and Evelyn became his family. Christmas served as a reminder of how his life had changed for the better. The date symbolized his belief in the unexpected and the extraordinary, demonstrating that miracles are more than just Christmas stories, they can happen in real life. These miracles always bring light into hearts, inspiring everyone to cultivate generosity, love, and empathy. If you enjoyed the story, surely the next video appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.